Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to create our main character shooter. So, for that purpose, I have just imported this asset bodyguards. You can also import this because this uh, this asset is very nice for uh, shooters. So, I will create three main players. So, for that, we will add this. Uh, we will use this asset. So here we are going to create a new uh, scene just for uh, testing purpose. So where we can create our uh, prefab. So here I will just uh, name it work scene maybe or any other name you can assign. And here in this scene we are going to create a new plane. So I will just create a 3D object and plane now we have a plane although we have some lighting issues because the plane color is white in uh, fact but here you can see this light orange color so for that purpose we for fixing this issue we can go to go a window rendering lighting settings and then we can select color from this source and we can make the color to a little bit white so here now we can place our uh, character uh, this bodyguard and uh, here you can see the meshes and we have some meshes here so I will just uh, add three character we will select three characters okay so I will just uh, add these and just want to see that what characters we can choose so this character is without hairs and uh, this is also without hairs and this is with cap and this one and yeah so yeah we will just select uh, these first three characters okay so one two and three which is good so i will just select these three and just delete it from scene and now we will uh, are ready to create our characters yeah before that we will also check the size of the character okay so it's important because we want to match it with the standard invector size so we will go to invector 3 we have shooter prefabs and we have some prefabs for our ready made players so i will just uh, drag drop the shooter character here and we will match the size and i think the size is absolutely fine so yeah so yeah that's fine absolutely fine so now we are good to go with creating our character so we'll go to uh, in vector then shooter then create shooter controller and then here we can drag drop our shooter so first uh, shooter we will do we will create the bodyguard meshes and this one first one we will just drag drop here also before that you should uh, see that it should be rigged human eyed okay so it's important so after that we will go to animated controller we will select shooter milli uh, in vector shooter milli okay this one that is uh, very nice for creating shooters so we will double click on this and then we will select camera list and we will select v shooter milli camera or v shooter only camera so whatever you want i will select this one and then we will create click on create and now our shooter is ready to go so here you will see in hierarchy we have a this uh, camera for shooter and this is our shooter we will select the shooter and we can uh, bring it to uh, our plane or we can just uh, select the plane and we will make it zero 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 okay so it will be at players position so i will just select the player we will just click on f to focus and now if we play the game you will see that our player is ready to go and our third person character is ready and you can see that we can walk we can run we can uh, we can jump we can also uh, roll like this and everything is working absolutely fine now the second step is to add player uh, some uh, basic effects so for that purpose we will go we will select our character we will go to in vector basic locomotion components and first of all we will add ragdoll and we will click on create and now our ragdoll system is generated 
we will select our character we will go to in vector basic locomotion and components and we will select hit damage particles so it will play effect of uh, blood okay blood effect we can also uh, customize this effect by going to hit damage particles and we can change the blood effect as well so it depends after that we will also select the in vector and we will go to basic locomotion component and we will add footsteps other component we, we can definitely use and we will learn about that in later videos we will play the game and you will see that we our character is ready to go and you can see we can listen sound of footsteps also footsteps particles we can see okay so that's nice uh, now we will add weapon system to our character so for that purpose we can we have two uh, options one we want we can create direct weapons for this character by going to in vector shooter and create shooter weapon in this case our character will hold would hold the uh, weapon here okay so but we want to create inventory system so for inventory system uh, what we can do we can just uh, go to inventory we will go to item manager and now we will select inventory prefab for inventory prefab we can go to in vector th third person shooter and here we have item manager so here inside item manager we have prefabs and here we have some prefabs we will select uh, inventory shooter prefab and then we can drag drop this prefab here and for item list data we will choose v shooter milli item list data now you can see that we have a message please select the player to add this component so we will select the player and now we will click on create to create inventory system now when we have added inventory system so here in right side in hierarchy we can go to item manager and here you can see we have item manager attached we will s select size to 2 and we can uh, select shooter here and ammo here we will click on add item and now we can add our items so i will just add handgun and then the second item we can add assault rifle also we can add shotgun also we can add sniper so these four uh, uh, weapons we have selected we can also add rpg as well as it is uh, available here we can also add uh, this arrows and uh, for arrows we can select the uh, archery item as well so that thing we can learn later on so for now we have added this fourth uh, item so if we play the game now you will see that we have a nice inventory system if we click if we press i we can select our weapons so here we can select the weapon uh, for first slot for second slot for third slot like this and for fourth slot like this and now if we uh, move to our game by pressing escape now you can see we have a nice pistol if you press two we have a gun if we press three we have another gun and then if we have another gun so if we press one you can see pistol and now we can shoot actually but you can see the alignment is not correct for pistol so we have to align the pistol now so uh, yeah in the same video align the pistol as well so for aligning the pistol and other guns we have to click on scene view we want to go to scene view so for going to scene view we will press escape and now our mouse is unlocked now we can click here on scene so now we are in scene view we will select our shooter instance here and now you can see that we have this uh, inspector and we will click on lock camera and lock aiming so our player will go to our aiming mode okay so now we will go to uh, our shooter we will select the pistol 
and here you can see that we have this default handler one uh, thing is v handgun we don't have to select v handgun we have to select default handler okay then we will uh, align the weapon so here you can see now if we click on this rotate option we can just align the weapon like this i will just uh, align it uh, towards up uh, and then by uh, small clicks we can align the weapon okay so if we press small clicks it is easy to align weapon in a better way okay so you can also do like this and when we are happy with the alignment you can see the alignment is not correct yet uh, when it will be okay then we can move further so uh, here you can see that uh, alignment is quite nice but it should be upper little bit so we will align it with small clicks and rotation is fine i think but we need it a little bit outside uh, sorry like here yeah here i think it's absolutely fine yeah so now this is good and now we can click move tool and we can align the weapon like this so actually the hand of this character is quite big so uh, yeah so that's why our weapon is like this but i think uh, that will work fine so we will just add it a little bit here and we are happy with this alignment yeah so actually we are happy with this so uh, we can increase the size of pistol as well as per our character but i don't want to do that for time so now we will select this uh, transform and then we will click here and we will click on copy component and now we will uh, go to uh, non-play mode and here we will just paste component values now if we play the game hopefully we our pistol alignment is fine will be fine hopefully so let's uh, press i weapons let's select pistol and now if we select pistol you can see that uh, in right hand it's quite good yeah so it's absolutely fine but here you can see the left hand has some problem so we have to fix the ik of left hand okay so for that purpose we will go to scenes again uh, select our player we will uh, lock the camera and aiming and now we will select shooter manager open its properties and now we can move to ik okay so here we can uh, manipulate this left hand ik so we will zoom in a little bit so for uh, analyzing the left hand so when we are happy yeah now we can rotate the left hand okay so by rotating x axis you can see we can rotate the uh, hand also y axis we can rotate and z axis we can rotate so i think we have to rotate it to z axis a little bit like this then y axis uh, like this maybe and then x axis like this okay so yeah so now it's uh, in right position i think okay so that's nice a uh, little bit i think uh, okay we will test it with gun as well okay so with this ik we will just copy the component copy component and then we will uh, go to shooter manager and here we will add copy paste the component values okay now if we play the game and uh, we will again select inventory and we will select pistol and gun as well because the ik points will work same with gun and pistol as well so now if we shoot you can see that 
pistol is here and uh, now if we press 2 then our gun is here and gun alignment is also fine I think okay so now if we analyze it in scene view then we can check it in, in a better way so yeah you can see that gun alignment is uh, also fine I think so yeah so that's fine so little bit of rotation uh, we can make maybe so here if we actually uh, it's fine actually I am happy with this so let's play it again and uh, uh, press I inventory and for second another gun for third another gun and for four another gun so now uh, yeah I think uh, pistol alignment we will reject and yeah that's fine I think yeah so that's fine so we are happy with this we will press 2 and this is gun third one and this is also fine and fourth one yeah so that's fine so we have successfully created our first uh, player and we will just uh, 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 make it a prefab okay so we will go to prefabs here we will create a new folder and we will say ready players because we need three characters so here inside this ready player we will just rename this uh, player I will just rename it to body guard uh, player one like this or we can specify some particular name as well so I will just uh, yeah just rename it with this one okay and then we can just drag drop this prefab here like this and now we have created successfully our prefab so we can delete the player we can just drag drop this player and everything will work absolutely fine hopefully so let's see what will happen and also within vector you can see that we have this nice UI as well with the help with the right side you can see the uh, icons as well so we can change definitely this UI as well so I and now we have everything working absolutely fine so now you can see also in fact it's um, in default the uh, sorry the shooter is in uh, all lock mode so we can unlock this okay like this and then we can definitely use it absolutely fine so that's fine absolutely fine in next video we will move further goodbye